to the channel uh, today is a little bit of down date for me um, I was supposed to be doing a couple of the things instead I'm gonna be uh, doing a couple of reviews for you guys uh, there's a lot of tools out there that you guys don't really know about and uh, some of the tools I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on them and one of them is this new uh, boss uh, impact wrench here this is a Chinese Makita version here I've only seen uh, one or two videos on YouTube I ended up purchasing this um, with the Whaley, uh, Wat Watley, uh battery system here. I did see a review on it. Uh, one person uh, recommended this battery for this setup here. Now this setup is exactly like a Makita. Um, what I did here was I uh, used a Milwaukee boot, modified it to, to cover the uh, impact portion because the top here has a has a plastic portion that is very very fragile um, but you can hear it here the buttons work um, I'm gonna get a couple of videos out there in a the junkyard in a little bit to see how, how everything functions you can see has the selector there and I like this battery because it has the percentage gauge back here uh, you click the button and it shows the percentage of the battery not a lot of batteries have that option uh, but you can see the size comparison here and an actual Milwaukee uh, 3 eighths is a Milwaukee 3 eighths fuel and you can kind of see that this is slightly shorter Let me see. slightly shorter and uh, this is a half inch this one is a 3 eighths um, supposedly this has a higher impact rating uh, but we'll find out a few other tools that I wanted to share with you guys is the AC Delco ratchets now these I haven't seen very very good reviews so I'm gonna try to do the best that I can at the junkyard to get a few of these but I can at least compare them here uh, so this is the smallest uh, this is the quarter inch AC Delco and you can hear how it sounds here this is not a brushless tool, but I can tell you these batteries here are all compatible and they're also compatible with the Harbor Freight batteries. So if you need an extra battery, just head over to Harbor Freight. Uh, the battery mechanism is all the same, but that is a, uh, a brush tool and it has a similar, almost like the Milwaukee. So it has similar features. Uh, the same thing with the 3 eighths. Now I do have uh, some boot covers that are going to come in the mail to go over these here. Um, I had to play with some of the snap-on boot covers, but I ordered some heavy-duty ones. and We'll see if they fit on there. So this is also buff, but I like it because the top portion here, you can actually uh, switch the lever much easy, easily than the Milwaukee ones. Now, the newest one that just came out, there I haven't seen one review on this whatsoever. This is a brushless tool. Why did I get this? Is because it has like a paddle, almost like a paddle uh, trigger option. Uh, the Milwaukee one is not like a paddle one. It's it has the lever. Uh, aluminum. Uh, this is a heavy duty ratchet. I'm gonna have to say, but we'll see. Uh, just some just some some features at the junkyard. Uh, but you can see how this one, um, let me see. And I'll get some, at least the size, a comparison of the size between these two here. And you can see this um, is a Durofix, but it's pretty much AC Delco, the same, the same line and the, the G12 line, but this one is much longer. And supposedly it has a higher torque rating. 
Uh, but again, I'll see. All right, guys, right now I got everything laid out. Uh, before I head to the junkyard, I got everything packed up. I wanted to show you guys uh, just the prices in the boxes with the part numbers. So that way, if you guys are interested in looking for those products, uh, you can look them up by a part number and stuff. But I'm going to show you the prices that I paid for them pretty much uh, without tax because taxes vary by state. fix it comes with the battery and charger All right, guys, I'm in the yard right now. Uh, I put the smallest uh, socket that I have right now, which is a 10 mil on a half inch. And I got this on a low setting. So the vehicle that this is, is a Sonata. So I'm just gonna see if I could do anything that I can see that has 10 mil. You can see how easily that does that. Let's try to go this to the next setting here, which is a let's see. All right, let's change out the sockets. All right, guys, I changed out the socket to 14. Let's try to do some suspension components with this. I have this on a lower setting, so we'll just give it a quick try here. does it with no struggle. Some calipers. I'll try to get the best video footage that I can for you guys. didn't struggle at all so I switched this socket out to a 19 uh, let's try to see if how it will do on these lower control arm bolts okay and that is on the low setting so let's try to bump that up there to the two setting Two setting, three setting. And those are rusted, as you can see there. And the fourth setting, last setting here. And it did break that one loose on the fourth setting. Alright guys, I'm going to go on the passenger side to see how it'll do again on the fourth setting. Okay, and it did do it. So I'm pretty surprised by this Chinese made impact wrench that is still able just to just do the basic stuff. Guys, up next is the AC Delco, the 3 eighths, the brush version. Put a 10 mil uh, socket, most commonly used. Uh, so I'm gonna try to rip some some 10 mils with that, and we'll see um, what happens with that. All right, so here's a couple of 10 mils. Oh. 
and these are all valve cover bolts. All right. Now let me see how easy this is to switch this the opposite way with one hand. All right, easy. Now let's try to tighten those. Oh, and it stops. Cool. So let's try something a little bit bigger. All right, guys. So I put a 13 uh, mil socket on here. Uh, one down, downside to this ratchet here is there is no locking mechanism. So if you put this in your bag and you don't take out the battery, it has a possibility of catching on or something and continuing to drain your battery. But you can see here, 13 mil socket here. That one did twist my hand just a little bit. Let's try to put that one back on. All right, cool. Two, three. All right, guys. And the last ratchet I'm gonna do right now, I'm not. I'm not gonna do the quarter inch because uh, quarter inch is just for the small stuff, you know. But this is the three eighths uh, brushless dirt uh, dirt fix, same as AC Delco. Put a 17 on here. I think this is gonna be my new favorite ratchet. Uh, it feels very, very comfortable. Uh, I just like the way it feels and just the mechanism itself. Uh, but I got the uh, 17 on here. Uh, I don't expect it to just break stuff because that's not what I'm using it for. It's more the functionality of having it, you know. Let's we'll see. See, and it's, it's not going to break this engine mount bolt here. But I bet you if I... There we go. Push down on it. Yeah, and that's pretty much why I got it. Uh, let me try some, some smaller sockets and uh, continue on. Here we go. We're coming up to some more door hinges, or door hinge bolts. There we go. brings your wrist up a little bit but it's just like a natural type of you know see in this one there we go Let's see. See, this one it's not doing anything but I bet you if you just you know loosen it there we go. let's try to run these bolts back in this thing I like the way it feels I like the way it, how the length of it so that's gonna conclude the end of my review for these um, again I did this because there's not a whole lot of videos on uh, some of these tools that I just presented to you guys but if you guys are on a budget you know there's other tools out there than just the name brand stuff again you've seen the prices uh, that I paid for those tools and a lot of those batteries are interchangeable and uh, some of these batteries you can even get at uh, your local Harbor Freight uh, but that's going to conclude my uh, reviews for these tools. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Mega Manny 009.